Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. Just want to do a real quick, and I mean super quick, uh, introduction of what you're about to watch. So my buddy Steve, who I've known for decades, we've golfed together for probably almost 20 years, decided to get fit. We brought him to my friends at Club Champion, um, went through a number of irons. I think there was 11 total heads, multiple shafts. I'm not going to show them all because you'll be here for a week, but I want to show you and stay to the end because the winner it was not even close um, to being on anyone's radar. Not mine, not Mike the Fitter, certainly not Steve. So I know it's a long video, Stay, stick through it, watch it. You'll be shocked in what um, the winning uh, iron was today. But again, thanks. If you're new, sub certainly subscribe. Uh, we'll have follow up to these, certainly my fitting. Uh, I know a lot of you have asked kind of, where's your fitting at? We're waiting on components. I should have them in the next week or so. Uh, but as soon as I get them, we'll certainly do a follow-up review. And then also with Steve, as soon as we get his set, um, we'll do a follow-up. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and enjoy. This is an incredible fitting. Thanks, guys. We know those are heavy. We know those shafts are, are way too heavy and way too stiff. Uh, do you choke down at all on your on your clubs or not really? Um, not usually. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't care how fast you swing your club. This yeah. is not. This is probably the least important number. I'm sure. Um, this. These are the two most important numbers. Um, obviously, you got a good swing. You got a consistent swing. Contact is not going to be the problem. This, this is what we need to get. Yeah, as high as we okay. Right, so we're going to start here. This is the Callaway Apex. Uh, it's the Nippon Zillo shaft, so it's lighter. It's a little softer. It has a softer tip. This is designed to load a little easier, unload a little easier, and help kick the ball up in the air much easier. You can probably right off the bat feel a significant difference. Yeah, it definitely uh, feels better. Yes. Sold. Yeah. Done. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> the crazy part is that the head weight is about the same as yours. The overall weight, not yeah, even close. Night and day. It's night and day. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing. We'll hit you know five or six with this. Obviously, as we go through this, if something doesn't feel good, feel too light, too whippy, too heavy, too stiff, whatever, tell yeah, me. Yeah. Just say this. This isn't it. That's a good start. Felt really good. Sounded really good. Is this, so there's two Apex, right? Yes. Apex DCB, which is the deep cavity back. It's a little bigger, a little more. Yeah, but this isn't that one, right? That is not that one, nope. Because I think the DCB was the one that I hit the best at Fox Oh, really? Okay. Interestingly enough. Do you like the look of that? Or did you like the look of that DCB more? It's a little bigger. Did, did you? Doesn't matter. It, it, yeah, I mean, the okay. look didn't bother me. Okay. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a little weird for me getting used to, you know, the top line yes. on the old yes. Big Bertha is so much different yes. than what we have now. I'm 
not sure it's fair to call that a line. That's more of a top block, I would say. <laughs> a top line is like, <laughs> an inch thick. How do those feel? It definitely feels better. Um, the one shot that I hit that I said that felt really good, that was the best. That you hit a groove on that one? Yeah, it was the best contact that I had. It, it sounds audibly better. It does. It, it sounds does. faster than a 63 mile an hour club. I know. Speed too. How crazy that is. That sounded great. All right. Okay, a little lighter yet. Now, just like there's too heavy, obviously there's too light. And we don't yeah. want we don't want too light. All right, a couple more. I, I figured it might take a couple swings for this one. It's just such a different feel all what together. Is, what is that iron stick now? That's still the Apex 6 iron. Oh. Different shaft. This is a... Does that feel too light, Steve? A little. Okay. I mean, it can't feel ahead at all. Yeah. Yeah, everything's kind of dropped a little bit, so... You know, I'm okay with it. Feel like the back nine is always a, a, a more of a struggle than the front nine. I mean, do you feel like, do you feel tired when you get to like? The yeah, I would think that it's probably. Okay. You know, back nine is just tough. Yep. But if you looked at all oh, nice. his sound, good. what a difference! I know. When you, if you look at his clubs, I think everything probably plays too stout. Yeah. And so I think everything, you know, listen, you swing 100 times or 80 times sure. around, you're feeling it after. Especially with stuff that's too heavy, too stiff. I mean, like, just the sound, audible. Like, I, I know. close my eyes, it sounds so different. You got, let's say, a shaft, a head that's, that's somewhat working. When do you start looking at length, by angle? I know we did at the end, but, like, for someone like Steve, yep. when do you calculate? Like, after we figure out head and shaft. Yeah. Right now, we're using standard length on everything i don't know what the lies is i don't right now on these some might be standard some may have been uh, adjusted but once we figure out what head and shaft combo then yeah. we figure out the length the lie you know the grip the grip size do we need to do anything with the lofts you know sometimes we add a little loft to get a little more height sometimes we take a little off to kind of decrease the height or spin or whatever uh, feel good yeah okay. Lighter than yours, but not nearly as light as the last one we hit. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need yeah. some of that feel. Yes. Regarding, like, the overall feel from going from those to any of these. Like, is it night and day difference? For oh, you? yeah. Oh. I mean, it, it's, I mean, it, it's the, you know, swinging this is work. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is. I mean, it doesn't feel so bad right now because it's loose, but, sure. you know, it's, I mean, when I swing that versus when I swing totally different. I, I mean, you can feel instantly how much yeah. less work that is, you know, how much lighter it is, how much easier it is to make it move. Yeah, this is probably, this is probably the closest looking to yours. Is that that pain? Yeah. 430. A little behind it? Yeah. Okay. Sure. A little 
little thin. A little thin for sure. I wonder how you can eat some in here. Like, this one should be perfect. This next one should be perfect. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. close. It, that, one, that one felt pretty good. Look at that. 150. Look at the flight. Like that. Sounded good? Now I know your ideal flight is you want to get 80, 90, 100 feet, right? How, like how do you get someone like Steve? You don't. He, he <laughs> just, don't. I mean, there's low ball hitters, there's high ball hitters. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to get yeah. higher trajectory forever. And part of that's how we bring, you know, how we bring the club head into the ball. Um, Obviously, we want to get, for Steve, we want to get that ball flight as high as possible. Yeah. Um, will we get it to 90 feet? Uh, probably not, but... Um, not with this club. Right, right. They did a lot much. Yeah. <laughs> this one has not been great. No. The third and fourth... Yeah, I mean, there were, a couple of, there were a couple of back to back, but yes. overall, pretty fun. Yeah, after the, after those, after the third. Now this is back to the Callaway. This is the DCB. So oh, this, this is, is the one you liked earlier. Yep. Oh, there's the low one. Yep. yep. There's there's a bend. That was look at the look at the height on that one. Oh, I don't know that. That so, felt pretty yep. good. Might have been a touch behind it. Yeah. It felt I think the other thing too, which is interesting, is you start looking at specs for specs and clubs. Yes. Like are the lofts the same? No, no lofts. That's, and that's, that's what I mean. So yes. like you can hit a six iron 160 with one brand and an eight iron the same distance, but the lofts are closer, even though the number on it's a little different. These all sound but say, here, cool grips. When we come when we come back to do the the follow-up. Yeah, that's when you really want to yeah. dial it. Now what is this, Paradigm or Titleist? This is the Paradigm. Okay. This is standard loft, um, one degree, uh, one and a half degrees upright. Oh, okay. That went the opposite way that upright's supposed to do. <laughs> upright's supposed to bring it the other way. I mean, it felt like there was a hair behind it. Okay. It's all right. There's my bin shot. Yep. Now we're getting started. Get him out of the way. Better. Club length, might you would say, was pretty standard for him. Yeah, what these are. Point? This is standard, which I I like more than the the long. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I don't know that I would go short, especially because this is typically is that a little thin. Yeah. Uh, what do you think causes that? I know it's swing, I know it's looking up, but is it's too much bounce? Or just, or just left in his left yeah. shoulder? It's almost like you're just kind of coming out right. of it a little early. That's what it looks like. If I could get my sponsorship to come through and I could play full time, you know, I'd Understood. get rid of that. Understood. That's coming. That was solid. Yeah. At 149. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, in here, you just, you know, we kind of just get swinging outside your, your concentrating more. Yeah. Sure. So.
What's the thoughts of feel, Steve? So, right away, I would say it didn't feel as good. No. I mean, I felt like I'm still making pretty good contact, but it doesn't... Yeah. You know that feel when you hit a really good shot? It doesn't feel... That good. That good. It doesn't feel awful. Right. But I've lost something, I feel like. I mean, I don't know what the results say, but... That one sounded good. Yeah, I mean, I hit that pretty good. Well, that's your longest ball today. That was literally the longest one, I think, today. up there too. Higher ball flight, which is, I don't want to say strange, but kind of strange. Higher ball flight than? Almost the other one. Yeah. yeah. The other one was like in the, about this, but it surprised me. Shaft, I, I don't. Have to adjust these two so they're the same. Now the lofts. Are they pretty close? Uh, the the tideless is twenty six. Uh, you can go ahead and hit that. Should be all set up and ready to roll there. So, the, so it's even more impressive then. Yes. The Titleist actually, what, what he was looking at, Steve, was the Titleist is uh, more traditional lofted than the Callaway. The Callaway is another degree and a half lofted strong. That's which, crazy. Which is what, three, four yards about? Per, per degree. So that's probably a five yard difference. Yeah. And so the fact that. Yeah, so you're almost hitting those Titleist 20 yards longer. Yeah, when you take the loft into consideration, yeah.